Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity formulations, ingredients, skin health products, you've got questions or comments or success stories you'd like to share, we are here for you. We want to hear from you at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, Products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, head to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got blog stories, blog posts, and news stories, as well as videos, and all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And for a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business if you're an entrepreneur or entrepreneurially minded. If you want to have your own business, work out of the home, earn thank you checks for helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. For a one time $25 fee, you can join the Brightside Ben team and start a longevity business. Or if you'd just like to get the, your products at the wholesale price for a one time $25 fee, you can purchase longevity products at wholesale. Sign up off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And I also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Transdermal C Balm, and our Omega-6 Healing Cream. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, surfactants, emulsifiers, oil, silicon, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. You, sh- you shouldn't have to pay for fillers. You shouldn't have to pay for thickeners. You shouldn't have to pay for preservatives in your skincare products. You should only pay for active and functional ingredients, and that's why I formulated my Truth Skin Health products. They're incredibly active. You only use one or two drops of our Truth Transdermal C Serum, for example. You use our Truth Retinol. 5% gel once or twice a week, and you will notice effects on the skin, visible effects, dramatic effects within 7 to 10 days, and within 30 days or so, most people will tell you, people are asking me what I use on my skin. My lights, my dark spots are becoming lighter. My skin is looking smoother. And that's really how you want to tell how good or how effective a skin health product is, is what does your skin look like a week later, two weeks later, after you've started using the product? Does, do, do the results, do the benefits of your skin health product accrue over time? Does your skin look better and better over time? And there's only really a couple of ingredients that can make that claim, and that is basically just vitamin C and vitamin A. And as I've said so many times, if you're not using fat-soluble premium lipophilic vitamin C on your skin every day and vitamin A, at least in its retinol or retinoic acid form, at least once or twice a week, you are totally missing the boat on topical anti-aging skin health, and it's no wonder why so many people are dissatisfied with their skincare products. If that's you, 
If that sounds like you, you need to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side. I want to continue talking about coherence and vibration and electrical energy and its relevance to health. Specifically, we've been talking about the, the vision of Dr. Royal Raymond Reif and his ideas about the relationship between vibration and the vibratory nature of health and the vibratory of nature of disease, how it all, rates to, or how it all relates to electricity which like the entire physical universe is nothing but the manifestation of vibration. Electricity is vibration. Light is vibration. Matter, stuff, biology, the cells of our body are all the functions of vibration and vibratory phenomena. So it comes no surprise that health is healthy vibration. That is, when I say healthy vibration, I mean organized vibration, coherent vibration, laser-like vibration. A laser is coherent energy, coherent vibration. An ordinary light bulb is incoherent vibration, and this accounts for the difference, the tremendous difference in the effects of a laser versus a light bulb. You can think of disease as a light bulb. You can think of good health as a laser. Disease is incoherent vibration, chaotic vibration, drugs in the medical model, use co incoherent and chaotic vibration. Nutrition, on the other hand, is coherent vibration. This is the major difference between drugs and the medical, the tools of the medical model for healing and the tools of uh, the bright side, the bright side philosophy. It's a difference. It's the difference between coherence and incoherence. And in the future, we are going to be leveraging this link between coherent vibration and electricity to generate health. In fact, we're going to be using vibration and electricity to generate energy, to generate free power. Uh, Nikola Tesla talked about this at the turn of the 20th century. He said, we don't need to pay for energy because energy is just vibration. If we could figure out how, just to, how to make things vibrate and then channel the result in energy into generators, we wouldn't need to pay for electricity. We wouldn't need to pay for energy. The vibratory nature of health, the vibratory nature of, uh, of the biological system needs to be taken advantage of if we are going to be healthy. If we're sick and we're vibrating chaotically, there are three main ways that we can reorganize or correct chaotic vibration. Number one, correct breathing. Correct breathing entrains the body's vibration into health. Two, correct thoughts and feelings, thoughts and emotions. Again, entrain the body's vibrations. And number three, correct eating and nutrition. Breathing, thoughts and emotions, eating and nutrition. These are three powerful strategies that we can use to stabilize chaotic vibrations, to cohere vibrational energy. Breathing, thoughts and emotions, eating and nutrition. Converse that, uh, compare that to uh, the, the doctor strategies, the medical strategies, drugs and surgeries and electrocutions and ablations, removing organs. All of these increase chaos and make us sick. Doctors make us sick in this way. Medicine makes us sick. Drugs make us sick. We live in this topsy-turvy, mirror, upside-down world where we think the medical model makes us healthy. The opposite is true. If you understand the vibratory nature of health and you understand the, uh, the chaos, the incoherent energy that is associated with the medical model, it becomes obvious. Side effects are not side effects, they're effects. What we call side effects are the direct effects of the medical model. What we call adverse reactions are the direct effects of the strategies of the medical model. And it is inconceivable to me, it's mind-boggling to me, how we think that drugs can make us better. And if you're out there taking a prescription drug because your doctor told you you have to stay on it for life, you're making yourself sicker. Even if you don't see a side effect, even if you don't feel a side effect, it can't help but make you sicker. Now, I'm not telling people just to stop taking their drugs, but I'm telling you that if you're on a prescription drug, your number one health goal should be to figure out how to wean yourself off of it. Correct breathing, correct thoughts, correct emotions, correct eating, correct nutrition. This is true medicine, not drugs, not surgeries, not doctors. Breathing, thinking, slash feeling, and nutrition. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you on the bright side. We'll take a quick commercial break and come back with more good health information right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. 
right side. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010 if you have questions about the longevity products, anything we're speaking about here today. If you're on medication and you want to wean yourself off of it, we can help you. 844-236-6010. If you or a loved one is dealing with a health challenge, you need help with that, we can help you there too. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And we'll get your, we'll get your calls here at the bottom of the hour, as we always do. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you're advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Also, I'd love to have you on the Bright Side Ben team if you want to make some money selling Longevity products, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you want to supplement your income, if you want to just... Be a good person and help change the world with health, with uh, with healthy nutrition. That's really what it's all about. Yeah, you're going to make some money doing it, but this is a good deed. This is helping people, not not in a medical uh, medical way, but in a natural, healthy way. And I could think of no better way to make a little bit of money too. If you're interested in uh, joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee, call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or head to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and sign up right off our websites. Okay, so when we're sick, it's a vibrational phenomena. Likewise, when we're healthy, it's a vibrational phenomena. Healthy vibration means healthy body. Incoherent or chaotic vibration means a unhealthy body. It's pretty much as simple as that. Three main ways to reorganize or to correct chaotic vibration, breathing, thoughts and emotions, eating and nutrition. Correct breathing, correct thinking and feeling, correct nourishment. And by the way, you'll know it pretty much immediately. When you start breathing correctly, that calm, relaxing sense, that's, that sense of relaxation is a hallmark sign of coherent, laser-like vibration. Same thing when you think correctly and feel correctly. Thinking good thoughts, appreciative thoughts, gratitude thoughts, loving thoughts, kind thoughts, forgiving thoughts. Likewise, feelings and feelings are the flip side or the, uh, they're associated, they're pretty much the same thing as thinking, thinking and feeling. I call it thinking slash feeling. You'll know it right away by the calm sensation. Digestion, and, uh, nutrition and nourishment take a little bit longer because of the digestive process. But likewise, you're going to feel better when you stop eating sugar. You're going to feel better when you stop eating processed food. You're going to feel better when you take vitamin C and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and essential fats because you will be stabilizing in training the electrical energy in the body. Nutrition works via electricity. What we call nutrition, what we call the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients can be thought of as little bridges that allow electrical energy to flow smoothly. Without these little bridges... Electrical energy doesn't flow smoothly, and cells end up becoming depleted of this electrical nourishment, if you will. Vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, essential amino acids act like little bridges that allow electrical energy to flow smoothly and coherently. That's the job of nourishment. Macronutrients, protein, fats, and carbohydrates provide the energy. Micronutrients act like bridges that allow the energy to flow smoothly. Everything is vibration. Every step we take, every movement in, uh, of molecules in the air, every movement of waves in the ocean, every movement in the body, every thought we think, every word we speak is a vibration. And vibrations can be turned into electricity. Even our thoughts can be turned into electricity. That's what an EEG machine is, an electroencephalogram. An electroencephalogram is a machine they put wires on your head and they stick those wires into a machine and they can actually convert the thought energy in your brain into electrical waves that can be determined. They can assess the electrical energy of your brain with this, these EEG machines and they can determine how relaxed we are. They can determine how stressed we are. They can determine how well we sleep. When we're relaxed, our brain waves, our brain electrical energy is slower. And when we're concentrating or we're problem solving or if we're just stressed out, electrical energy is faster. And slowing down brain waves, slowing down the electrical energy that's emanating from the brain, 
is the secret to meditation. It's the secret to hypnosis. You've got four main brainwave frequencies or brainwave speeds. They call them alpha waves, beta waves, delta waves, and gamma waves. Beta waves are your problem solving waves. And there's somewhat fast energy. And when you're stressed out, you're freaked out, or if you have ADD or you have some kind of mental health issue, you can rest assured your brain is emanating this kind of fast energy, this beta wave energy. Now, you need to have beta wave energy because beta wave energy is associated with, with, with problem solving and with thinking, but too much beta wave energy will keep you from falling asleep. This is why deep breathing works. This is why deep, slow, rhythmic breathing is the most powerful strategy you can use to fall asleep because it turns your beta waves into alpha waves. Alpha waves are much slower. Alpha waves are the hypno hypnosis waves. That's why they use a watch to uh, get you into hypnosis. You are getting sleepy. You know, the watch going left and right and left and right. It's the, the watch itself or the pendulum itself that you're staring at to get you into a hypnotic trance is the watch itself is swinging left to right, left to right at an alpha state. And our brain entrains or matches that alpha state, and we go into hypnosis. The same thing can be done with breathing. If you just listen to your breathing going in and out, in and out, you will naturally entrain your brain, match up. Your brain will match, entrainment means matching up. Your brain will naturally match up with that alpha state. Theta states are even slower than the alpha states, and theta states are associated with, uh, with uh, uh, the, dr uh, the dream state. If you've ever experienced that state right before you fall asleep where you're kind of dreaming, but you're not dreaming, you're sort of awake, but you're not awake, that's a classic, a classic manifestation of a theta brainwave state. It's even slower than the alpha state. So your brain is emanating electrical energy at a frequency, just like every other cell of, cell of the body, and we can learn to leverage those free, the natural frequencies of the body. We can learn to change the frequencies of the body back to healthy frequencies. We can do it with the brain. We can do it with the heart. We can do it with our blood pressure, and we can be healthier for it. And this is really what health is all about, not drugs, not surgeries. Alpha state, beta, uh, uh, theta state. And you can access these things with simple techniques like breathing, thinking, emotions, and correct eating and nutrition. Vibrational energy is turned into electricity that powers all of the cells of our body. It's not just our brain. It's not just our heart. It's every one of the cells of our body. And this electrical energy doesn't only power the cells of our body. It informs the cells of our body. Vibration and electrical energy is actually information. And it tells our cells whether things are okay or whether things are not okay. By understanding how to translate the electrical signals and the information they cont uh, that they contain in the future, healthcare professionals are going to be able to enhance built-in healing powers in the body. They'll be able to amplify and leverage the built-in healing, uh, healing powers of the body. There's a guy named uh, Dr. Kevin Tracy. I think he's a, he's a brain surgeon. He's a neurologist, and he's uh, a part of an, uh, a, a medical research institute called the Feinstein Institute for Medical, uh, Feinstein institute for medical Researcher. And Kevin Tracy says electrical Stimulation of nerve cells with implanted devices can actually have drug-like effects. You can mimic the effects of drugs without any toxicity by taking advantage of electrical energy. Now, Dr. Tracy's all about sticking implants in your brain. He's a doctor at the end of the day. But you don't need the implants to do it. You could do it with simple techniques like breathing, thinking, and feeling, as well as correct, uh, correct eating and nutrition as well. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Right side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got a couple lines open for you. And if you are on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you uh, just a moment, a couple stories. Actually, I'll just read this one. That got I got a couple interesting stories here. One on Alzheimer's disease in chimpanzees. Interestingly enough, chimpanzees in zoos domesticated, I don't know if that's domesticated, but, but uh, chimpanzees who live in captivity, who eat captivity-based foods, and who also uh, are deprived of foraging and lots of exercise that they would get in the wild are more prone towards getting Alzheimer's disease. I'm, not, I'm gonna, I think I'll hold off on that till, uh, 
till uh, our next Bright Side episode. I'm actually going to be doing a video on Alzheimer's disease today, so you might want to check that out at criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. Uh, this is really an interesting story that uh, I think is kind of important based on what we're talking about today. And this is uh, from uh, an article from the journal uh, Current Biology. Uh, yawning, why is it so contagious and should it matter? Apparently, yawning is truly contagious. I mean, that's kind of the old wise tale that you can't stop yawning if other people yawn. But apparently, according to Dr. Stephen Jackson, professor of cognitive neuroscience, in the school of uh, in the school of psychology at uh, University of Nottingham in England, he says that uh, yawning really is contagious. No matter how hard we try to stifle a yawn, if other people are yawning, it's almost impossible to stop. And interestingly enough, if somebody tells you not to yawn, it becomes even more uh, difficult to resist a yawn. Yawning is really, really important. Yawning is one of the best ways to relax the body. Yawning provides the body with incredible benefits. For one thing, it improves oxygenation to the brain. Yawning can stimulate uh, concentration and alertness. It can improve memory recall. It can relax the body, particularly the upper part of the body. It's a wonderful strategy for activating the parasympathetic, the relaxation nervous system. Fake yawning, not fake yawning, but, but intentional yawning, volitional yawning. Yawning also can cool the temperature of the brain. So if you're tired, one of the reasons that we get tired is our brain gets too hot, it gets overheated. Yawning actually can help cool the brain. Just yawning, fake yawning, just going oh, like that can relax the body. This is what I'm talking about when, I, when, I, when we talk about the little things we can do to improve health. The parasympathetic nervous system, the relaxation nervous system, regulates healing. It lowers blood pressure. It helps us sleep. It improves the immune system. And you can turn on the parasympathetic nervous system with something as simple as yawning. When was the last time you went into the doctor with a hypertension and he said, why don't you yawn three times a day? Here's a prescription for yawning four times a day. Never. You probably think it's silly. You probably think it's stupid. Another great strategy, by the way, for activating the parasympathetic relaxation nervous system is slow stretching, slow stretching. Anything we do slowly is going to activate the parasympathetic relaxation nervous system. Anything we do fast will activate the sympathetic nervous system, the emergency nervous system, which is one of the main reasons why you don't want to eat your food fast or eat fast food. They call it fast food, by the way, because we eat it fast. Not because they make it fast, but because you got to eat it fast. Because if you ate your McDonald's hamburger slow, you probably never eat another McDonald's hamburger ever again. Try it. Try chewing on a McDonald's hamburger really, really slowly and feeling all that mush and that gristle in your mouth. And it's very unlikely that you're ever going to want a McDonald's hamburger ever again. All right, 844 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Let's go to Texas and say good morning to Travis. What's up, Travis? Welcome to The Bright Side. Ben, not good. I, uh, I walked in uh, to my dad's yesterday, and there was these glossy, expensive-looking brochures sitting on the counter, and I thought, oh, great, what is this? And he says, oh, I went to the doctor, and they told me I have high cholesterol. And I said, okay, okay well, what is Blah, blah, blah. And he says, oh, I'm going to take these pharmaceutical drugs to lower my cholesterol. I'm a, a listener of, of GCN, and I've heard, I believe, you and Alex Jones talk about cholesterol before. Can, can you speak uh, about uh, cholesterol briefly and then also yeah. uh, tell me what effect do cholesterol-lowering medications have on a person's brain? They're hideous. Brain? They're terrible drugs. They're, they're not deadly. They're not, you're not going to notice the toxicity as quickly with a statin drug as you would with a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker. And that makes them a little more insidious. And this is why doctors feel comfortable just dosing them like M&Ms. In fact, there are, there are actually physicians who want to put in the water supply. There are doctors who think that it should be given to children. Statin drugs should be given to children. They would never give a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker to a child, but they feel comfortable with the statins because the toxicity with statins is much more long-term. Here's the deal. Cholesterol is arguably the, I don't even think it's an argument. I'll tell you, in my opinion, it is the single most important chemical in the body. When we talk about vitamin D, that's cholesterol. When we talk about estrogen and testosterone and your hormones of youth, progesterone, your hormones of youth, your hormones of growth, your hormones of repair, that's cholesterol. When we talk about cortisol, stress hormone, that's cholesterol. When we talk about bile, 
that's cholesterol. Now, there, there are chemists and there are uh, physicians, medical folks who will tell you, oh, cholesterol is converted into all these things. No, they are cholesterol. And that's the best way to think of vitamin D and estrogen and testosterone and progesterone and cortisol and bile as cholesterol. Your brain, 25% cholesterol. Every cell of the body wrapped around with a layer of cholesterol. If you wanted to pick one way to destroy the health of a culture and a society, a good, a, a good strategy would be to give everybody statin drugs or to tell everybody not to eat eggs or to tell everybody not to eat cholesterol. It is, I could say it's among the stupidest thing doctors tell you, what, among the stupidest things that the medical model promotes is this whole cholesterol mania and this suppression of cholesterol as a medical strategy. But I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it is the stupidest things, the stupidest thing that doctors promote is to lower cholesterol in the name of getting better to the point of where you got to take a drug to do it. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And I wish I could talk to a doctor on the air. If you know a doctor who wants to come on the air to discuss this, I would welcome it because I hate having to do it behind the medical model's back. So if you have a doctor who wants to, who, who, who thinks that statin drugs are somehow beneficial, or lowering cholesterol is an intelligent thing to do. Please tell them there's a pharmacist who's on the radio who wants to talk to them so that we can have this discussion. Because it, it, it just ticks me off to no end. It is dumb, dumb, dumb. Why does cholesterol go up? Because your sugar goes up and your insulin goes up. And the link between sugar, blood, elevated blood sugar and elevated insulin is the real, and elevated cholesterol is the real problem. Lower your, cholesterol, lower your insulin, lower your blood sugar, your cholesterol will drop like a stone. So will, you, will your blood pressure. So will your weight. That's why lowering, cholesterol, lowering insulin and lowering blood, uh, blood sugar is so important for the heart. It naturally lowers your blood pressure. It naturally lowers your cholesterol. Why does cholesterol go up? Because we eat sugar, bread, pasta, rice, potatoes, all the foods that compose the, uh, the vast majority of the standard American diet. That's why cholesterol goes up. Shutting down the production artificially, pharmacologically, is dumb, dumb, dumb. And I'm not saying the people who do it are dumb. I'm saying the doctors who suggest it are dumb. So, so if he were to say, all right, to hell with it, I'm not going to take these drugs, uh, it would have no negative effect on him? No, and, no, no. Now, here's the thing. In fact, it would be better for him because he, now he wouldn't have more toxicity in his body to deal with. But what you got to do is you got to focus on the other things. You can't continue to live the standard American life and eat the standard American diet. That's the problem. It's our lifestyle. It's the diet. It's the foods we're eating. It's the way we're living. It's how we're not exercising. It's our sedentary lifestyle. It's the processed food. It's the lack of breathing. It's the increased beta waves. It's the increase in stresses. Hang on. We'll finish up, Travis, when we come back from our break. Back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you. We're talking to Travis in Texas about cholesterol. Uh, suppressing, suppressing cholesterol with statin drugs at best, at best, will decrease the likelihood of you having a heart attack by 1%. Or two percent, but it will increase the likelihood of you having deficiencies in coenzyme Q10, for example, by a hundred percent. It's going to increase the stress on your liver, which has to detoxify the statin drugs, but likewise by a hundred percent, or at least by a lot. Any drug you take represents a load on the body. If you're already sick, now you have an extra load on the body. If you're already nutritionally deficient, now you have an extra load on your body because your body has to use B vitamins, for example, has to use zinc, has to use copper, has to use magnesium, all of which are important for the heart, by the way, to detoxify, to clean itself out. When you take a drug into the body, the body says, what are you doing here? Get the heck out. I said, I said this last week. When, when drug companies come up with dosages for medication, they have to account for something called first pass effect, which is uh, the, uh, the, uh, the job the liver has to do to eliminate the drug. So they have to increase the, the dose so that they have to make up for this first pass effect. As soon as you put a drug in your mouth, all the poison control systems in the body become mobilized to eliminate that toxin, whether it's a statin drug or a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker or whatever. Travis, you there, my man? 
I, I'm wondering, does this doctor potentially get some kind of kickback from the uh, you company? Know, by just I don't want to go there necessarily because, you know, okay. doctors are not bad people. I have a lot of friends who are physicians. And for the most part, you know, not 100%, but for the most part, they're good people. They want to help. They've just been hypnotized by the medical model even more so than the average person has because they get indoctrinated in school for this. Drug companies literally fund medical, medical schools. So the doctors are getting hypnotized by this medical model even more so, even more intensely than the average person is. And I'm not going to, I don't want to, uh, you know, make, make claims that there's some kind of nefarious conspiracy where they're getting paid off and they're poisoning America. You know, it's not like that. They're just as gullible as anybody else and they're indoctrinated even more. It's just that we got to use our logic here. We just got to use our brain cells here. If a drug is a poison, how can it be good for us? How can it ever be good to take in a poison in the body? And to have a health system that promotes the use of poison is just, it's messed up. And it doesn't pass the smell test. It doesn't make any common sense. If you want to lower cholesterol, number one, reduce your insulin and sugar. That means stop eating the uh, standard American diet, basically, and that includes so-called whole grains. Number two, use blood sugar stabilizing nutrients. Before statin drugs, you know what we'd use in the pharmacy before statin drugs came out to lower cholesterol? Niacin, vitamin B3. And it's no coincidence that in addition to being the most powerful cholesterol-lowering nutrient there is, it's also one of the most powerful blood sugar, blood sugar stabilizing nutrients. In fact, niacin is part of something called the glucose tolerance factor, which is a complex that helps the body utilize sugar, utilize glucose. And niacin is a key component of this glucose tolerance factor. Chromium and vanadium are also effective nutri nutritional supplements for lowering cholesterol. And again, no coincidence, both are important for helping lower blood sugar. Thiamine as well, zinc as well. Get on a nutritional supplement program, number one, that features all of these nutrients, niacin, zinc, copper, magnesium, uh, the amino acids, taurine and arginine, everything we talk about for blood sugar, thiamine. Reduce your intake of foods that spike your blood sugar. Use vitamin E. And remember, it's not just, chole it, while cholesterol is not a problem, cooked cholesterol can be. Heated cholesterol, that is so-called oxycholesterol, that can be a problem. Using vitamin E with all of your cooked fats, using vitamin E supplements on a regular basis, using 400 international units of both to tocopherols and tocotrienols is the best way to protect your body from this toxic cholesterol, this burnt cholesterol. And don't worry about eating cholesterol. When you eat cholesterol, your body makes less cholesterol. So in a way, cholesterol that we eat actually lowers, naturally lowers our body's, our, our blood cholesterol because it reduces the amount of cholesterol that's made in the body. And one last thing about cholesterol that's super important. Cholesterol that is in foods like eggs and organ meats and fish is found with something I call the cholesterol complex, which is vitamin D, vitamin A, vitamin K, and something called lecithin. They're all found together. So when you eat cholesterol from eggs or from fish or from organ meats, you're also getting vitamin A. You're also getting vitamin K. You're also getting vitamin D, and you're also getting lecithin, all of which are incredibly, incredibly nutritionally valuable. To eliminate or to reduce your intake of these foods eliminates or reduces your intake of vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin K, lecithin, and the other components of the cholesterol complex. I hope I, hope I didn't beat that to a pulp, but that's a super important subject. Does that answer your question, Travis? I, I'm looking forward to playing this audio. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll make a difference. Please. And if, you have, if, your doctor, if you play for your doctor, have him come on the air. I'd love to talk to him. All right. Sounds good. All right, Thank Travis. You, Be good. Have a okay. great day. All right, let's go to Pennsylvania. Welcome, Dave, to the Bright Side. Good morning, Dave. How you doing, buddy? Good morning, Ben. How are you doing? I'm doing good. All right. Well, two things. First thing, I think I owe uh, credit to you for partially saving my life. Oh, wow. Uh, back in, Tell me. Back in October, I had, a, I had a really bad bacterial infection in my intestines, and we went through about three months of different antibiotics. Couldn't get anything. Couldn't get anywhere with it. You uh, told me to get on bentonite clay, activated charcoal, a couple other items, and within two or three days, my symptoms almost stopped. I stayed wow. on those things for about two weeks, and uh, and everything's been fine ever since. But oh, it that's was awesome, Dave. Very serious, and uh, and so anyway, I'm very grateful. I wanted to call you back and let you know that it I was appreciate awesome. that. 
I appreciate. Are you uh, using some probiotics and fermented foods? You're, you're doing all that stuff yes. now. Uh, Good deal. A lot of kim, a lot of kimchi, a lot of um, awesome. Pizza. Uh, awesome. And uh, probiotics as well. Good deal. Good deal, Dave. I'm glad to hear. Uh, it. So what's what's going on today? Second thing, you've been getting into the frequencies. Um, I'm part of a group. I uh, went out and did some training in Ohio with an organization called Sound Health Options. Hmm. And they use frequencies um, basically to determine what's wrong in your body based on nice. your voice. Uh, so so say that again, program. through your voice? Hang on, Dave. Did you say through your voice? Correct. So when you That's speak, awesome. We, we'll record about 30 seconds of your voice. Uh, we'll bring up charts, and there's a coherence chart, which will determine where you should be and all the free, all the things, the organs, bones, nerves. That's that awesome. Genome, everything. And then based off of that con- coherency chart, wherever you fall, if you, if you have muscles that are stressed or you have vitamins that are not being utilized or whatever, we have the frequency for those individual I love um, it. properties. Then we can actually produce those frequencies that your body needs and then start healing the body well that's we awesome they entrain the, they entrain the body in other words right yes that. we promote your body to heal itself we give your mind or your brain the frequency so it can start repairing itself i love it uh, i love it have, have really you talked about rife itself. have you talked about royal rife yeah. at all we do. So Rife uses what's called square waves um, when they send out their frequencies, and that's great for pathogens and toxins mm-hmm. and being able to kill uh, parasites and stuff in your body. This, uh, these frequencies that we produce are called analog, and um, it's more of like an S pattern, and it promotes the healing part of it. So it's not I as see. good as killing stuff, but it's very effective at healing or repairing things oh that is uh, awesome so 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 there's there's this the sine waves what did you call them the how did you yeah, the, analog analog waves analog right waves. and then the square waves square waves are what we, uh the rice machines put out and these put out the analog waves so you uh sound health options is is the company and that does this research and they've taken people that have been paralyzed and when they're done they're up walking moving around people That's with awesome. macular degeneration Again, we don't heal, heal or cure. But the body we, does it. Yeah, the body does it. We just help the body to do it. Anything with cancer? Have they done anything with cancer? Uh, they they have been working with cancer. They've been working even with like the Zika virus. They've decoded the the um, the par- the and whatever is wrong with the Zika virus, whatever it does to your body, to code that and then come up with a way to and um, antibiotic, so to speak. Oh, I love it. And is there a website? It. Yeah, soundhealthoptions.com. I'm sorry, say that again, soundhealthoptions.com. Soundhealthoptions.com. Dave, I got to go, but thank you so much for sharing that. That's awesome. And thanks for the, the kind words. I appreciate it, and congratulations on uh, healing yourself. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening to the Brightside Friends. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products. And if you want to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, call 866-735-2470. And remember, our Truth Skin Health products are up at truthtreatments.com. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 